Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. This is one in a series of solution videos to some of my math challenges. The particular math challenge for this solution video is my three circles and a triangle challenge. Here is how I presented that challenge in its video. We have here three circles, all the same size, and tangent to one another. That means barely touching one another here, here, and here. And surrounding them we have this triangle, which is tangent to the circles at these six points. That necessarily makes this triangle an equilateral triangle meaning that all three of its sides are the same length. Suppose that the length of each side of the triangle is n units. My question is, in terms of n, what is the exact length of a radius of any of the circles? Well, there's more than one way to solve this challenge. Here is a good solution. I have drawn in red two triangles with a rectangle in between. We look at this top triangle. It connects the vertex of the whole triangle, that top vertex, with the center of the top circle with the point of tangency. Uh, by geometry, this is a right angle. Also, by geometry, this angle at the top is a 60 degree angle. It is cut in half by this red segment, making this a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And by geometry, that is half of a little equilateral triangle, meaning that this length is half of this length. Well, this length is a radius of the top circle. I will call it R. That means this length is twice that. It's 2R. And by the Pythagorean equation, we get a relationship in 30, 60, 90 triangles. This longer leg is the shorter leg times the square root of 3. And so this length is r times the square root of 3. The same is true of this triangle at the bottom, which is identical to this one. This length is also r times the square root of 3. That's this length. In between, we have this rectangle. That's r, and that's r, so that total length is 2r. So opposite it in this rectangle, we have the length 2r. So now we have the uh, length of one side of this whole triangle, which I called n, as being the sum of these three lengths. I will put that into an equation. n equals 2r plus 2r times the square root of 3. I'm going to solve this for r which is what uh, I said to do in the uh, challenge. To do that, I will factor out the common factor 2r from the left side. I will write that new equation now. Two r times one plus the square root of three equals n. To solve that for r, I divide by the 2 and by the 1 plus root 3, and that gives me 
my solution. R equals N divided by 2 times 1 plus root 3. So that is my solution to my challenge of three circles and one triangle. I invite you to go to my profile page and find the math videos playlist and look up some other math videos of mine. I have a wide variety of what I think are some very interesting math videos. Thank you for watching this video.